All right, sir, what's your name? Ethan Langley. Ethan Langley. And I see you have a button that says, I like Mike. I do is like Mike. Is that a Mike. reference to Michael Langley? That is a reference to my dad, Michael <laughs> right. Langley. Oh, he's your dad? He is. I uh, <laughs> came into this world and got Tedra stuck. Oh, okay. I, oh, he wasn't in the he wasn't in the uh, frame before. Okay, Michael Langley standing right there. I, I didn't notice him at all. So, um, what? okay, why should I not vote for him? Like, Nate, give me a good reason why I shouldn't vote for him. Um, you know what? Uh, if you're probably around nine years old and you don't like going to bed on your bedtime, that might be a bad thing. Uh, he's pretty strict about his bedtime, you know. Sleep's important to him. So okay, if you're nine okay. years old and worried about your bedtime, that's and, probably why. And wasn't he like one of those psycho baseball parents, like <laughs> trying to beat up an umpire once or something? <laughs> no, my dad was the umpire uh, getting swung at, probably. Oh, okay. Uh, no, uh, as far as the psycho baseball dad goes, uh, it was psycho on my end. I okay. got in more trouble than everybody else. I uh, I got benched before anybody else if we were in trouble. Uh, you know, he was a lot harder on me than other kids. So in that sense, yes, he was probably the psycho baseball dad. He was way too hard on me. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. So, so if he's way too hard on his son, then then work ethic will not be a problem, right? That, that's right. Work no. ethic won't be a problem. And I was not hard on him. <laughs> Even, contrary to my dad's sudden sudden change of heart where he thought that I was being too hard on my boys even though I was never even close to my dad but, um, no it was a lot of fun actually working with them and we had a really good baseball team and we traveled a lot of far far places and beat up on a lot of those Portland teams so oh yeah we were a small Rainier team beating Portland team so we had a lot of fun well that's good that's good so have you been talking with a lot of people at Pow Wow we have we had a good uh, turnout for dinner and uh Talking to a lot of people around the powwow. Um, hopefully, more tonight. Um, haven't, haven't been around as much as I want to, and we'll be back later tonight. So I'm sure we'll see more. Okay, Always. cool. And so, have you? Have any, has anyone like asked you like why you wearing that pin or anything? <laughs> um, no, not yet. You know, I think it's a pretty good giveaway. Uh, yeah. I like Mike. So. <laughs> All right. Cool. Good deal. Good deal. Well, any sort of. Uh, let's just try and close this out with some sort of baseball reference. Um, <laughs> If you, as a tribal council oh, candidate, which which Hall of Fame baseball player are you closest to? Oh man, well that's tough because <sighs> don't say Barry Bonds uh, or uh, A Rod. Uh, well, not not any of those. I would say modern times. I would love to be Derek Jeter. Yep. Derek Jeter. Be, I'm not. Is oh, he in the Yankees? Hall of Fame yet? But uh, I know Yankees? he's, he's, he's Yankees, but he's the only. He doesn't count. He doesn't uh, count. He's, he's above the rest. He's the only cool Yankee. But then my other Hall of Fame is uh, Lou Gehrig. So you know another Yankee, and I'm a Reds fan. But those two are men of class. So I, I really like them. They're, uh, as far as how they carried themselves. Okay, well, I don't Hero. know about your choice of player, but I'll, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll leave it in the video if it, if it makes you happy. So. <laughs> All right, thanks. All right.